I'm Tony from Bonner's Music and this is the Arranger keyboard video that we've all been waiting for. It's not just any Arranger keyboard either, this is the introduction of the new Yamaha Genos 2 workstation. So ever since the introduction of the original Tyros keyboard back in November 2002 and then Genos in 2017, Yamaha has dominated the UK's premium Arranger keyboard workstation category. So like you, I'm excited to see and hear what this new keyboard powerhouse has to offer and I'm joined at Bonners today by Paul Thurkettle who is a Yamaha key expert. So Paul's had the Genos 2 in his hands for a number of weeks and he's going to talk and play us through some of the most important new sounds and features of Genos 2. So sit back, turn up your speakers and enjoy this introduction and demonstration of Genos 2. Great to see you, Tony. Yep. Great to be here at Bonner's Music in Eastbourne. It's great to see you here. It really yeah. is good to be here, and great to be here with Genos 2. You know what? We've waited so long to be able to show you this yeah. new instrument, and, and here it is. Should we have a listen? Yes, okay. well, we're all so excited about it. Here we go. We'll talk it. about yeah, it in a yeah, minute. Yeah, yeah. Let's have a listen. This is just using the new character ground and one of the great new styles. sound is it's, it's really warm isn't it it's absolutely stunning and you know what tony i wouldn't normally start a presentation or a demonstration no with the piano sound but i think with genos 2 you know there's so much to chat about so i think it's a great place to start um before we dive into the sounds and have a close look at those let's look at the outside let's look okay. at what's different about genos 2 well first of all of course you can see you know what it's very familiar it looks yep. Let's say it's quite similar to Genos, um, but that's if it's not broken, don't fix it. Um, we've got a very familiar cabinet. Things are in the same place, but what is different, what is very different, is the central area of the instrument. We've got brand new screens on board. We took notes of what you said. We took notes yeah. of what our customers said, and we've altered the screen angle by about five degrees, there's an additional five degrees there. So you kind of see this contouring of the instrument. This is all new. The screen, I mean, to be honest, Tony, we, we don't need m screens that move. We no, don't need no, no, that. No, no, no. As long as you can see the screen. And I'm sure you, as you can, I mean, we're in a beautiful studio yeah. here and there's lights everywhere. Yeah. Can you see the screen? Absolutely. I can fine. see the screen. Yeah. And we're at different angles as well, yes. aren't we? So, so really, really easy to see. Do you know, having see. it angled though, it gives the whole thing more presence. Yes. Do you know what I mean? It's, yeah. It looks like a chunkier keyboard. Isn't yes. It? It's yeah, physically yeah. the same size though, isn't it? Physically yeah. the same size. Um, and as I said, things are kind of in the same place, but that's, that's what we wanted. It's very familiar. So for, yeah. for Genos owners, that's going to come across to Genos 2, it's, it's there, straight out the box, sure. you can use it, very, very simple. So the screen, it's a very important uh, point, the screen is a new screen, it's very, um, let's call it dynamic in, in the way that it looks, it's present, as you say, it's, it's, it's easy to see, it's, and it's very simple to use, it's very quick, very easy. Yep. Um, but it's also adjustable and controllable from a brightness point of view. You can change the brightness on it now. Okay. And also the subscreen across to the left. Yes. This subscreen um, is brighter. It's also at a slightly different See angle. That. Yeah. And you can change the the the, the subscreen from light mode to dark mode. 
So depending on your environment, okay. you know, if you're in a studio like this or on stage or maybe, you can change the, the screen from light mode to dark mode, as you can see. Um, so yeah, gr fantastic viewing angles. You've probably noticed all of this yeah. going on. These these LEDs here. I mean, these are just brilliant from a from a usage point yes. of view. Because of course, very simply, you can see what you're doing now. Um, you don't have to guess where the slider control is. You can simply see it move. And also with the knob control, you can see that as I turn it, the the knob yeah. LEDs change. And th these these don't catch anymore. Kind of, there's no start or finish because. Oh right, okay. You can there's infinite encoders. That's right. And does also when you select a registration, then those lights indicate where the settings were Absolutely. when you stored it. And a great yeah. point. We've also given you a new catch function. Okay. Um, again, previously, you know, when you used the sliders, you were almost frightened to use it because it would jump in sound. Of course. Yeah. And that was a problem. So now when you use the slider control, the slider will wait until you catch where the volume level is set yes. to, and then it will start to move the volume. So that's a really great point. And also, I know you like your organs, Tony, yeah. and, and you know some great organ sounds, yes. draw bars and all the rest of it. It's all in there. The lights or the LEDs reverse, so, uh, okay. so when you pull the draw bar down, the light will show you. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So right. in the dark, you can you yeah. can see where all the draw bars are. Nice. So, so this is a really good area. It's a really good um, fun new functionality, which is is brilliant. We've also got more assignable buttons. So we've got a, another two assignable buttons yeah. over here, and one thing you've probably noticed is the assignable buttons have got lights on them. Yes. So you can yeah. now see which buttons that you've selected. Um, one more feature from uh, from an outside perspective, um, you've now got Cord Looper uh, as hardware buttons uh, on the OK, panel. yes. That was so a software update, wasn't it, on the it. previous one? Um, and they're yeah. not hidden in a menu no. anywhere. You can get to them on the panel, which is great. Is great. Yeah. But you know what? We've we've talked about the outside. Let's, let's talk about what's on the inside. Um, we've heard a, a fantastic new style bluesy ballad which is, yeah. is great did you hear the organ sound i the, did hear the rotors yes, are it. fast and slow yeah. in in yeah. the style we're going to talk a lot more about styles in a minute but i want to talk about um some of the brilliant new sounds on board and let's face it genos was um you know six years ago was a great leap forward yeah uh, from tyros you know if you've got a mm. tyros genos was a great leap forward in sound technology um but we've done it again. That that leap forward is is huge, and the voices are huge. My favourites, have a listen to this. Really good. They're so Fun. musical. It's like a band playing. Isn't oh it? yeah, it's 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 incredible. And and talking about bands, let's have a dive into uh, the the style, what I call a style engine. Yep. Because Tony, on board, we have eight hundred styles. Eight <laughs> hundred. 
Well, that's double what there was in a Tyros. And how many were in Genos? Well, 500 in Genos, 550 right. in the upgraded Genos yep. uh, to the, the V2 software. Yeah. Um, but now in Genos 2, we have 800 styles. Wow. Just before we get there, um, I want to talk about another uh, really important area of Genos 2, which is another sound engine. Okay. We have two sound engines. We, so we've got AWM. Yeah. We all know what that is. Yeah. If you don't, pop into the store yeah. and, the, and yeah. you can show them what it is and, and, and you can hear it throughout the instrument. The whole sound has been generated by this sound engine. But let's go back to the 1980s, Tony. Um, okay. we, we could just say remember yes. that, yeah? yeah. Um, <laughs> unfortunately, yes. Unfortunately, yes. yeah. Um, and you, I know that you had an instrument called a DX7. Yep. And you, you I think you still yeah. got one, to yeah. be fair. Um, we have an FM sound generator on okay. board Genos 2. So this is not a sample of a, a DX7. It is a DX7, which right, is living okay. inside Genos. Now, DX7s were very famous for lots of different voices, you know, for brass sounds, for organ sounds, but mostly for the beautiful electric piano sounds that it generated, which was just stunning. And even if you don't know what a DX7 is, you've heard it. Yeah. Because <laughs> it's such a famous sound from sure. the 1980s, which is, is something like this. got that bite. Add that to a style and you get something like this. Beautiful, beautiful DX7. And beautiful uh, style as well. That uh, style well, the, the FM sound engine is also living in the style, which we'll, we'll oh, come on to uh, in a little while. Um, so you've not just got the sounds to play, they, uh, as the acoustic pianos that we heard, yeah. they live in the style as well. So, and that's what makes the styles actually so great. Um, but there's something else I want to talk about. We can also, of course, take the AWM sounds yep. and we can mix them sure. with the FM sounds. And that's going to create uh, an another area that, you know, it's, it just blows your mind. So, we, in fact, let me just give you a, an example. Here's one of the new guitar sounds. I mean, Tony, it's got new okay. strings, it's got new organs, it's got new, it's got new everything. Yeah. Here's one of the new guitar sounds, which is just stunning. New super articulation, and you, yeah. you kind of don't, you can't experience that until you get to to play sure. it. You can hear all the articulation. Going. Let's add a style to that, and we get this. So we've got now FM in the style. Yeah, we've got AWM sampling in the right hat. It's just stunning.
pads there. 507 new multi-pads, which is, if I do my maths right, 2,028 new multi-pad on board. <laughs> it's, just, wow. it's nuts. It's, it's great. I, I must say, the style's so authentic. Mm. That's the thing. And that DX7 yes. sound yeah. in the in the style sounded great. Well, there's something else that I haven't talk, told you about yet, uh, which is adding to the beautiful sound comp and, and it, it really okay. is stunning you've got to come into the store and listen to this thing in real life which it it, it, it will blow your mind um something else that we've added yeah is is massive it's called revelation reverb and it's by steinberg as you well know okay yeah we now have revelation reverb by steinberg which is a yamaha owned company and yep. it lives within genos so it, it, it's everywhere and again, our customers really don't even need to know about it. Nope. Switch it on and it's there. It lives everywhere. It's on the voices, it's on the styles, it's in the multipads. Uh, plug a microphone in, uh, it's on your voice, yeah. um, it's on your MIDI files. Of, of course you can dive in, which we like to do. We can dive in and we can edit and tweak and do all the things that you want to do. You don't need to. Switch it on and it's already there, which is, is fabulous. But you know what, we've talked a lot about styles. Yeah. Should we dive in and have a look at some of these styles? Now, all I've done, Tony, um, is I've, I've literally took some of my favourites and sure. I've put them into the registration memory so I can literally go from one to the next to the next to the next. It's great to sit there and choose from the style menu, which you literally go into, and it's, it's, it's all there. Yeah. Very, very simple to use. And I've just taken my favourites and I've put them into the registration memory so we can just run through them. Now, at this point, I'm going to kind of stand back from Genos 2 because we, we were just chatting earlier. A, a lot of customers say, it's all right when you play it. You know, it sounds yeah. great, but when I get it home, it doesn't sound as good as that. Yeah. Um, so let's stand back. Let's just run through... Some of the styles I think are great, and we've got 800 of them. So I don't got know how some long time the, have we? How long yeah. the video's gonna. <laughs> I've just picked some yeah. of them out, and I've kind of stuck them in to give them some sort of sensical order. I've put them in uh, like 50s and 60s and 70s, and 80s. Okay. Um, whatever you want, it's in here. Let's let's just have a run through. Let's start with this. <laughs> what about this? Yeah. Ready? Can't help play it. <laughs> what about some big band? Magic. <laughs> Let's go to the sun. Next one. About intro two. got to forget that on the intros we've got three introductions we've got three uh, sorry four variations and we've got three endings and we've got a break yeah but I want to tell you about something else that we have within the variations yeah which of course as we know we start off at A which could be the verse and then we move to B which could be the second verse and C kind of the chorus and D the old singing all dancing end bit yeah and the dynamics of that band are kind of fixed so we go from A to B to C to D, yeah? yeah? But what if we could now change the dynamics completely within the variations themselves? We can do that. Right. And we literally do it using this dynamic control. Okay. So I'm not gonna do it all here because I want the customers to come in and get this demonstration from you because it's amazing. But we can turn it down, the band, dynamics drop 
if I turn it up, the, bi the band dynamics come back into play. Ah. So the guy with the tambourine might just yeah. get a little bit soft. The whole dynamic changes. Yeah. You just gotta Good. hear it. Yeah. But also there's another great feature and it's called ambient step. Now this is on the drums. Remember Genos one customers, or Genos customers, sorry, you have uh, Revo drums. Sure, yeah. Revo drums are, were great, but we've now replaced those. We now have ambient drums and we can now control the ambient depth of the drum kit in, in the room that it was actually recorded. Now this is not just fudged with reverb, it's actual room ambience. And you can change that depending on what sort of sound and feel that you like. Of course, okay. the, the drums are a really important part of the whole band. Yeah. So to be able to control the ambience like that, it's kind of a 3D effect. It's not just that, it's kind of this yeah. as well. It's the, it's the whole ambience of the, of the whole style. So from a style perspective, we've got a lot more control of the band because in effect that's what you're yeah. doing you're the conductor of the band and you're playing but using the style control features and now the ambience and dynamic controls we've got literally full control of that band should we have a listen to Let's some have more a listen yeah now listen to this that doesn't inspire you to a tune, I don't know what is. And if, if the the uh, chorus is a little bit too difficult, use intro three. Okay. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> what about this? Of course, some of the styles might be quite familiar. You've got 215 brand new styles on board, plus styles that have been brought across from Genus have all been revoiced. So the sounds are all new, new introductions, and of course with Revelation Reverb added, and of course they're all controllable by the style dynamics and style ambience. My very first album coming next. I was four, I think. Like this one. This is the variation. Ready? <laughs>
my favorite. Or so inspiring. And when you get to the middle eight, the major key, intro three. Finally, from the 80s. And you know what? I think it does take your breath away. Well, great sound. It's amazing. Just, it's incredible. It, it really is. Um, what I've shown you there, Tony, is yep. that much. Sure. We've got a huge amount more to, to, to show you. Come into the store, yeah. come in to see Tony, come in to see one of the guys in the store, and they will take you through Geos 2. It's just amazing. Can I ask one question? Of course you can. Speakers. Yes. Are there any speakers for Genos ah, 2? Ah, well, now that you come to mention it, I mean, we, we've, we've got the, our Genos 2 running through your beautiful um, speakers in the studio, but yes, MSO, MSO1s, um, which is a uh, Genos speaker system, yes, sure. to, uh, will fit MS, uh, sorry, Genos 2. So those customers that have already got a Genos, already got their MSO1 speaker system, you know, which is the subunit yep. and the, the two speakers that fit on top, yes, that will fit Genos 2. So there's no need to change your speaker system Keep your speakers. If, you've got yep. a, if you've got Genos speakers. Sure. Um, Incidentally, inside Genos 2, there's also presets for HS7s, Yamaha HS8 ah, speaker systems, new stage good pass. speakers, yeah. There are, there are presets so that you basically plug them in, press preset, off you go. All and they good. sound great for yeah, whatever speaker absolutely. system you're using. Yeah. Great. We've also got on board, Tony, HDMI output now, which you'll be pleased to know. Um, so you literally just plug a HDMI yep. leader out to your TV or your whatever monitor you've got. Right. Uh, we've also got USB audio interface now so you can okay. take that directly out to your computer so whatever program you're using or you can use the new Yamaha Rec and Share app yep which is fabulous now, please come at the store ask the guys to show you how this works it's a free app yeah you download um, if you want to video something it's great to video things but the sound ain't very good because mm. you're not capturing the sound correctly with the Rec and Share app you plug your device into Genos 2 it's recognized and you can record not just the video, but, but digital audio as well. And it right. does lots of other things. But yeah, come into the store and find Brilliant. out how that works. A Brilliant. free app. Yeah. Absolutely free. We love free things. We love free <laughs> things. Bluetooth audio also now built into Genos 2. So you, if you've got oh, your okay. speakers connected, connect your... You can uh, stream through the Genos speakers. Absolutely. Just okay. connect straight to it. No problem cool. at all. Um, and one last thing from me. Unless yeah. you've got any questions, I'm sure you've got lots. Um, we also have... Uh, at the time of launch of Genos 2, some free software. Okay. This free software is yep. MIDI file to style conversion software, right, which okay. is awesome. You're going to love it. So you take a MIDI file, yep. and using the software, you can convert your MIDI file to a style, 
and yep. use it as a style on board. And the software is free. And what's it for? PC, Mac? Yeah, is both it? Yep. PC and Mac. Um, and incidentally, um, at the time of launch, you're also going to get two free expansion packs. Um, one expansion pack is the DX7 expansion yep. pack. So lots of new presets all on board. You'll get that. And you'll also get... All of the all of the facilities or all of the stuff, let's call it, that we didn't bring across from Genos, that we you know we wanted to fill it with new stuff. Yeah. So all of the stuff that we didn't bring across is now on an expansion pack. So you're not going to lose right. anything. You're going to get that all free of charge. So yeah, Brilliant. I mean it's it is, you can create your own masterpiece on Genos too. It really is. An well, it awesome sounds piece fabulous. You've got to hear it. It really mm -hmm. really does sound amazing in the flesh. Yeah, it's brilliant. So, when's it been? Uh, When's it available in the UK? Now, right now. Oh, Come right. to the store right now, and you can. Uh, yeah. You should know what's in your arrows, Tony. It's full yeah. of them. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> get out to Bonners and get one of these things bought because it's absolutely amazing. Brilliant. Well, Paul, thank you very, very much. You're more that than sounds more than great absolutely to see you. great sound. So, of course, you'll be able to come and test drive Genos 2 in Bonners stores as uh, soon as it's available, which apparently is available already, but they haven't told me that yet. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, so we've got three stores, uh, one on the south coast in Eastbourne, which is where we are today, uh, one in Surrey, is, that's in Rygate, another one in Milton Keynes. And of course, we offer part exchange as well. So if you've got an older generation keyboard, you want to upgrade to a new Genos 2, mm -hmm. use the Bonners trade-in scheme because you could have a Genos 2 in your hands quicker than you first thought. So that just leaves me to say thank you very much for watching and thanks again, Paul. Been absolutely brilliant and I can't wait to get my hands on this and have a play myself. So thanks very much for watching and I'll see you in my next keyboard demo video.